It's time to develop the standard motion model and describe a stochastic model for the events when objects appear and disappear. As you'll see, the procedure is almost confusingly similar to when we developed the measurement model. And I hope that the insights that you gained from studying the measurement model will help you to also understand the motion model. In difference to the measurement model, the motion model has definitely changed compared to earlier parts of this course, since objects can enter and leave the area of interest over time. And the number of objects is therefore generally time varying. Given the set of objects at time k-1, we assume that the set of objects is the union of two independent sets, sk and bk, where sk is the objects that have remained in the area since time k-1, and bk is the set of objects that have appeared since last time. The letters S and B refer to the terms surviving and birth, which are commonly used to refer to persisting and new objects. As an example, we can look at a state sequence that we have seen before and identify SK and BK. At most times, the set of new objects that have appeared is empty, which means that XK and SK are identical. For instance, at time two, there is only one object present and that object was also present at time 1. Both sk and xk therefore contain the state vector of that object. One exception is at time 3, where a new object appears at 0, 0,4. The set bk therefore contains that state vector, whereas sk contains the state vector of the other object, and xk contains both state vectors. No new objects appear from time 4 to time 9. And at all these times, sk and xk contain the same two vectors. At time 10, two new objects appear, and sk and bk contain two state vectors each, whereas xk contains all four vectors. After that, no more objects appear in the rest of the sequence, which means that sk and xk are the same. However, it should be noted that objects disappear or die at a few time instances. This happens first at time 18, when one of the four objects has left the area. It still holds that xk and sk are the same, but sk now contains three objects, whereas xk1 contains four. More objects disappear at time 24 and 28, and at both time instances, xk1 contains one more object than sk. In this video, we present the standard model for the distribution of surviving objects, sk, given xk-1. We use boldface pi with subindex k to denote this model. There are striking similarities between the motion model and the measurement model, at least the way we present them here. And in some sense, the surviving objects play a similar role in the motion model as the object detections do in the measurement model. There are also similarities between the clutter ck in the measurement model and the appearing objects bk in the motion model. Of course, I'm not saying that appearing objects is like clutter, but they play similar roles in the different models. The standard model assumptions for the surviving objects are as follows. An object survives or remains in the area of interest with some probability Ps that may depend on the object state X. If the object remains or survives, its motion is described by a motion model pi k for the object state. As usual, the single object state sequence is a Markov chain. When multiple objects are present, they move independently of each other. That is, if we know the state of an object at time k-1, its state at time k is independent of the states of the other objects. We can look at the model for the set of surviving objects when we have at most one object present at time k-1. As a first case, suppose no objects are present at time k-1. In that case, the set of surviving objects is empty with probability 1, since an object can only survive if it was present at time k-1. We note that sk, given that xk-1 is empty, is a Bernoulli random finite set with r equals 0. As a second case, suppose xk-1 contains a single object state x. According to the model assumptions, an object dies with probability 1 minus ps, which means that sk is empty with probability 1 minus ps. The object survives with probability ps, and then moves according to pi k. That is, when the set S contains a vector S, boldface pi k is P S times pi k of S given X. Finally, when S contains more than one element, 
bold face pi k is zero. We conclude that the set SK, given that XK minus one contains a single state vector, is a Bernoulli random finite set with existence probability PS and spatial PDF pi k. For instance, suppose PS is 0 0.85 and the spatial PDF pi k of S given X is a Gaussian density with mean 3,2 and covariance 0 0.3 times the identity. Looking at samples from this distribution, we note that the object usually survives and then takes values in the neighborhood of 3,2, but that the object sometimes dies or disappears, which means that SK is empty. We can now find a model when there are multiple objects at time k-1. We concluded that the set of surviving objects from a single object at time k-1 is a Bernoulli random finite set. Since the object motions are independent, including the probability of surviving, the set of surviving objects is a multi-Bernoulli random finite set when we have multiple objects at time k-1, since it is the union of independent Bernoulli random finite sets. To describe this result in more detail, it's useful to introduce some notation. Suppose the elements in xk1 are denoted xk-1, 1 to xk-1, nk-1. We then use boldface sk of xk-1 i to denote the set of surviving objects that originates in xk-1 i. Clearly, this set is a Bernoulli random finite set. Also, the set of surviving objects at time k is the union of the surviving objects from all the different objects that were present at time k-1. According to our model assumptions, condition on the states at time k-1, the set of surviving objects from the different objects are independent, and we use boldface pi k to denote their multi-object PDFs. Similarly to what we did for measurement models, we introduce a shorthand notation si for the set of surviving objects that originate in object i at time k-1. Using this shorthand notation, the set of surviving objects sk is the union of s1 to snk-1. We can now present a general model for the surviving objects when the set of objects at time k-1 is x1 to xnk-1. The convolution formula gives that the distribution of the set sk given xk-1 is the sum over all combinations of disjoint sets s1 to snk-1 whose union is sk of the product over the single object motions boldface pi k of si given xi, where xi is the corresponding state at time k-1. We can also see that sk given xk-1 is a multi Bernoulli random finite set. As usual, it can be easier to make sense of multi Bernoulli random finite sets by looking at its parameters instead of these summations over disjoint subsets. For instance, let us look at samples of the set of surviving objects when there are two objects, x1 and x2, at time k-1. In this example, the single object surviving model is such that the probability of surviving is 0.9. If an object survives, its new state is the previous state plus Gaussian noise with covariance 0.3 times the identity matrix. We assume that the states are two-dimensional and the states at time k-1 are 3,2 and minus two comma minus one. Looking at samples from the surviving objects, we can see that they usually survive and that the new state then ends up in one of the two dashed circles, centered around three comma two or minus two comma minus one. Even though the objects are independent, they are not identically distributed. And among the samples that we observe, we never get two objects in the same circle.